Hi there. Welcome back to our Making Meaning unit about determining important ideas in order to summarize the text. I'm Ms. Hubzala and I've been with you for the past two lessons. Today is our third lesson. And so if you haven't seen the first lesson where we read a picture book of Rosa Parks, you might want to go back and rewatch that so you can feel caught up. Otherwise, let's get started. The materials you'll need today are a district packet or a piece of paper will do just fine, a pen or a pencil, a turn and talk partner, and the notes we took from a picture book of Rosa Parks excerpts yesterday or the previous lesson. If you don't have your notes with you, you either took them on a separate piece of paper or you use the district packet. They had a sheet that had a copy of it. Um, if you don't have those, it's okay because I have them and you can just read off the screen if that works for you. For your turn and talk partner today, you can use someone in your family, a friend, a pet, a pretend friend, a pretend conversation with your favorite celebrity or a teacher. The main goal is really that you're just able to express what you're thinking, not just kind of hear a question and wait for someone else to answer or do the thinking. It's being engaged and keeping your brain active and working. Um, if you want to share your turn and talk in another language that you feel more comfortable speaking, go for it. Um, this is the sheet we're going to work on. So I would like you to either find the corresponding sheet in your packet or just take a piece of paper and at the top write summary of, and then what we're summarizing is excerpt from a picture book of Rosa Parks. So what I have written at the top of my sheet, please go write it on the top of your sheet. And we're gonna keep adding to this same sheet throughout the lesson. So this is just a reminder of what a summary is. And so a summary needs to include the title of the book, the author's name, um, a general sentence or two about what is this book about, like the topic, not the details. And then a summary moves on. So the first part is kind of giving the reader of the summary, giving your audience that information about what are, what are you even talking about? What are you, what's the book, who wrote it, what's it about? And then you go on to describe important ideas. So that's what we're gonna work on today. And we've been working on, but we're gonna work on the important ideas we saw that we wrote down yesterday and seeing how we can turn that into a summary. So here's an example if you wanna pause and read this on your own, a summary of the boy who harnessed the wind from last week's lesson. So you, there was an opportunity for you to read that story or to listen to that story and do the same work that we're doing as well. So if you think back to the excerpt, and that's what we did in lesson two, so you might wanna go back and rewatch that if you need to. The excerpt, remember excerpt is just a piece of a lesson or a piece of a, of a text. It's not the entire text. So you can have an excerpt from a poem, you can have one from a story, in this case it's from a book. So it's not the whole thing, it's just a little, a couple pieces of it. So what would you say if you're thinking about the excerpt of Rosa Parks, what was that mostly about? Take a moment to think about it in your head. And so it was mostly about, in, in my opinion, um, the important things that Rosa Parks, or important thing, something important Rosa Parks did to challenge segregation laws in the South. So I'm gonna write this down on our sheet, summary of excerpt from a picture book of Rosa Parks. And I write down the author, David A. Adler, the title, and what it's mostly about. And let's add that to our summary. So this excerpt from a picture book of Rosa Parks by David A. Adler describes something important Rosa Parks did to challenge segregation laws in the South. Okay, and we're gonna keep coming back to this and adding. So you could pause it now if you need to catch up and write all that. So here I have the two excerpts. So you might have something that looks kind of similar in your packet. You might have just written this down on a loose piece of paper. So I'm gonna go back and look at this first excerpt, this first piece, section one. 
Twelve years later on, on Thursday, December 1st, 1955, Rosa Parks met James Blake again. And I highlight that because I thought it was interesting how she keeps meeting the same guy. Keeps having these really bad interactions. Rosa was coming home from her work as a tailor's assistant at a Montgomery department store. She got on the Cleveland Avenue bus and took a seat in the middle section. African Americans were allowed to sit in the back and in the middle section too, as long as no white passenger was left standing. So what we wrote, or what I had written yesterday, was she got on the bus and sat in the middle section, okay, where she wasn't she was allowed to as long as no white passengers were there. So that's kind of that main idea. And then I'm not going to reread the entire section two excerpt, but I'm going to look and say, well, this was an important event. And you might not be able to see it behind my screen, but this is an important event. When Rosa gets arrested, she refused to give up her seat. So I want to take those two important ideas and kind of combine them into one because I want to make my summary concise. Concise is where you're clear and you don't need to necessarily use a ton of words to get there. So it's clear and often short. So you make each sentence really impactful. There's not a lot of kind of fluff in there. So let's combine those. What should I write for these two sections? All right, Rosa sat in the middle section of a bus. She refused to give up her seat to a white passenger. Let's take that and add it into our summary. So you can pause now if you need to catch up. If what you write and what you decided on is a little different, that's okay. So let's look at section number three. And I'll give you a minute to take a look at this. How might you summarize section three? You can pause the video. This is an opportunity for a turn and talk with your partner. So I'm going to say she was arrested for breaking segregation laws and was found guilty. So I add that right in to my summary. I have my first paragraph or first section, which is the basics of my book. I have the combined section one and two, and then here I have the important ideas for section three. So we're going to continue this activity. Try section four and five on your own. So take a look at sections four and five and try those on your own. If you want to look at them on paper, you possibly have these in your district packet. If you've picked one up or printed one out, or if you have our notes from the last lesson. What did you include in your summary? How does that capture what's important in the excerpt? So think about, do you think what you chose is what's really important to capture on there? I'm gonna take a look and see what ideas I had. African Americans in Montgomery protested Rose's arrest by refusing to ride on public buses. And the bus boycott was led by Martin Luther King Jr. African Americans were tired of being oppressed. So I'm including, and you can get all the way down to the last section, Black leaders, including Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., organized a bus boycott to try to get the laws changed. The boycott lasted over a year. Finally, the Supreme Court ruled that segregation on buses was illegal. And I don't need to write the words the end at the end of this because I have finally comma as my transition and it's letting readers know I'm transitioning into the final or last part of something. Mm -hmm. And so I think that's important um, just to make sure that we're using transitions and everything is concise. Okay, it's also important, finally, the Supreme Court ruled that segregation of buses was legal because the act that the activists and um, the African American leaders in this case chose to do, they chose to have a bus boycott to try to get the laws changed. There's a lot of different ways to try to get laws changed, and that's one call of action that they were able to do. And we put that last sentence, finally, the rule that segregation on buses was illegal. Um, they ruled that, the Supreme Court ruled that way, 
is important because it shows how how Rosa's, Rosa Parks' actions led up to real change happening. Okay, so that's what makes these ideas like earlier on in our summary, how we said she was arrested. That's so important because then comes protesting and boycotting and then comes the law being changed. Okay, so go ahead and make sure you have this copy down. I'll leave it up for a little longer. You can also pause the video. If your summary looks a little different, that's okay. Ask yourself though, do I have details? Like I let that James Blake thing go, right? I didn't add in these other people she was interacting with. We didn't include she was on Cleveland Avenue. We didn't include these other things because really these are the big main ideas, the important ideas about this text. So now it's time for IDR. Now you are using your own book. It's a just right book. So make sure you're reading a book that is holding your interest and that you can read independently. If you don't know every single word, it's okay. Can you figure out the word based on the page that you read? Maybe it's one word out of a, a whole sentence or two of words you do know, and you're able to figure out the meaning. That's important, okay? Make sure it's keeping your interest, that you can read it for at least 30 minutes. If your brain is wandering a lot and you know, you're not focused, is it because the text is too challenging? Is it because it's not challenging enough? Sometimes that's an issue too. We wanna make sure that you know, our, our brains really grow when they're being challenged and we're like using them and thinking a lot. So as you're reading this section, just the first section, just the section you're reading, if you are on chapter seven, don't summarize what happened necessarily in chapter one. We just wanna talk about the section you read because in your summary, you'll get to include the author, the title, and what it is mostly about. So maybe you don't really need to go back like five chapters and talk about what happened then. So make sure that you're reading for at least 30 minutes. Think about what are these important ideas that readers really need to know about this story. And then you're gonna write a journal entry. So you could do this on a loose piece of paper. It can be on the back of the paper we were just using. If you wanna use the summary of Rosa Parks as an example, you can. And you wanna write a journal entry about the book you are reading. Make sure you include the title and the author's name and a summary of of the part of the book you read today. Again, you're not summarizing the whole text, you're just summarizing the part that you just read, okay? If you need help finding some books for IDR, some online options, um, please take a look at the slide that follows this. There's options for um, the Seattle Public Libraries as well, and so check those out so that you can make sure you stay reading. See you next time.